What's up everybody? A few months ago I found a good eBay deal on an Acer Chromebook 15 CB5571. Everything worked except it needed a new keyboard. So let me show you how I replaced the keyboard on this Chromebook. The primary focus of this video is getting the new keyboard fastened to the laptop. This repair is tedious and takes persistence, but it's doable. All right, let's get started. First, turn off the computer and remove all the screws holding in the bottom shell together. Next, we have to remove everything inside in order to access the keyboard. Here's what it looks like with everything removed. There's a huge metal plate holding in the keyboard. It's held in by plastic rivets. We have to pop those rivets off in order to remove the metal plate. Start on one side and make your way to the other side. I primarily used a small flathead screwdriver and pried the metal plate up, which breaks the plastic rivet. Get the screwdriver as close as you can to the center of the rivet. As you pop the rivets off, the small ring around the head will pop off. I also tried prying up on the edges of the rivet head to lift the ring. But this takes longer. It's not practical. I also tried cutting out the rivet head with a hobby knife. But that also takes longer than prying them out. With all of the plastic rivets out of the way, I lifted the metal plate up and out. We can see that the previous owner had dropped some liquid on the keyboard in addition to breaking some keys. Now let's pull the old keyboard off. Here's what it looks like stripped all the way down to the plastic frame. I bought the replacement keyboard from eBay. It shipped out from China and took a couple of weeks, but it was worth it. On the keyboard, there are some holes where the plastic rivets fasten to. You can see them better from underneath. Before inserting the new keyboard, I had to remove the jagged edges on some of the rivet heads. I used some small pliers to smoothen the rough edges. We are now ready to carefully press in the new keyboard. Make sure it doesn't get stuck on any of the rivets. It is important that the rivets hold in the metal plate or else the keyboard will sink down. And here's what it looks like when it sinks. You don't want that. Now let's replace the metal plate. Press down on the metal plate and make sure the rivets go through and pop out of the top of the metal plate. I laid the keyboard assembly on a cushion to ensure that the rivets pop out. I am guessing that the type of plastic used to build this Chromebook is ABS plastic, so I bought some plastic rods on Amazon to help fill the rivet heads. I used an old soldering iron with a large tip to melt the rivet tip and then melted some ABS plastic and joined the two together. Check your work to make sure the metal plate and keyboard are held in. Yes, those plastic welds look hideous and it takes a lot of work, but this works. I also tried just melting down the tip of the rivet head without adding more plastic and it looks like this may work too, but I'm not sure. So here's the finished product. Yes, it looks ugly, but I won't be staring at it when I use the computer. Look at that. The keyboard is not sinking in, it's looking great. I was very happy with the results. I have used this computer daily for two months now and I have had no issues with it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Check the video description for more information and I'll see you in the next one.